Today, I will be taking you on a journey into the unknown at Lopuri province where you'll be amazed by the scenery of these wild market monkeys and what kind of history and background they have towards Lopuri with a budget of only 700 baht or equivalent to 20 US dollars. Oh my good lord. Come on, just give it back. Come on, can I have it back? No, oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey! So, I finally bought the terrain ticket here and behind me here is a ticket booth worth 50 baht. See, you can see? There's a white colored ticket and it's a third level. It's the cheapest, of course. And it'll take me roughly uh, less than two hours to arrive at Lopuri train station. Fifty-seven. So when you buy the ticket, you're supposed to be, stay seated on the right number, so you don't get mixed up with other passengers. Mine is uh, fifty-seven. Right here. Now I just arrived here at Lopuri Station. Oh man, I have a sore butt. <laughs> just joking. I was sitting around there for almost two hours, you know, so. <laughs> there we go. One of the train officers uh, bowing down the green flag. Yes, sir, that's right. And it seems that uh, I'm gonna get ready to head into town right away. So uh, we get to see the unseen scenery, atmosphere and environment of Lopuri. And don't forget that the highlight of this trip is of course this feature right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna catch a minibus or a shuttle bus or in Thai we call it Lot Song Tao to get into town. Or I might even have to walk there. I mean it's uh it might be some short walking distance. You see? Man, what a nice sunny day to be here in Lopuri province, huh? Located in the central part of Thailand, Lopuri is one of the oldest cities in the region. It stands by the ruins of the old Khmer Empire and used to be known as the capital of Ayutthaya Kingdom. It is home to some of the most stunning ruins in Thailand, such as Prapang Sam Yard and San Pakan Shrine, all waiting for you to explore. And not just that, in recent years, Lopuri has also become known worldwide as the place where a bunch of wild macaque -mac monkeys are taking over the city. You cannot count out the Lopuri Zoo and the Monkey Banquet Festival. Oh my good lord. Are you witnessing this? I'm just like walking past these wild macaque -mac monkeys and they seem pretty tamed and they're not like excited yet or trying to like attack you yeah okay first mistake i made here in lopuri is i just left a, a water bottle on the street and all of a sudden this uh monkey just stole it from me and it's drinking. Come on, just give it back. Come on, can, can I have it back? No, oh, okay. Okay, when you see that, oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my good lord. So just uh, to give you like some uh, tips and recommendations on these monkeys, they can be aggressive when you uh, approach them and when they 
give you uh, this type of face, that means stay away. Do not come in closer. My first destination of the day is Pak Ban Sam Yod. Ban Sam Yod. In English, we call it the three prongs, or it means tower. The ticket price to enter this uh, ancient room costs only 10 baht for all visitors, both locals and foreigners. Alrighty, folks. So now I just entered inside the ancient room of Pak Bang Sam Yao and um, oh man, I gotta say it's very nice and cool in here. <sighs> Worthwhile to take a rest because I've uh, uh, been walking uh, so far before this. What do we have here? A uh, statue of a Buddhist monk. But uh, I'm really wondering where is its head. It's called the Naga Buddha. Yeah. Someone chopped off his head. That's not nice at all. Or it's probably uh, been like this for um, so many years. Yeah, you can see the, the structure of the, the room itself. It's like, it's been like this for centuries, like more than hundreds of hundreds of years ago. That's why it's so, uh, Sacred. It's considered to be a, a sacred monument in Lopuri. Oh, check this out. Hey there, how you doing? Ah. Alrighty, this is probably uh, the best view of uh, Papan Sam Yard. So, in front of me here is a historical ancient room known as Papan Sam Yard. It is situated right in the heart of Lopuri. This ancient temple complex hold a significant place in the country's rich cultural heritage. And you can tell right away, the beauty and historical significance of Hapan Sam Yat is built exactly like an ancient room. You see a bunch of them uh, gathering around together and uh, people are giving them out some food. What is that? Some vegetables, some cucumbers, huh? How you doing today? Alrighty folks, next up we have the San Pakan Shrine. Or in Thai we call it San Pakan Kumeung. And it's located right across the ancient room of Pakpan San Yard. Now, just gonna give you a quick directional route. It's located in the middle of a traffic circle, as you can see right here place right next to the railway line all right let's go check it out so this is the San Prakan shrine it is open every day starting from 5 30 in the morning until 5 30 p.m in the evening and one thing to remember in Thai culture or everywhere in Thailand whenever you enter a temple pagoda or shrine please take off your shoes that is a must and the other thing is do not feed monkeys inside the shrine. Only uh, feed them in, a, in an area where um, you're supposed to. The main statue inside the shrine is called a standing figure with four arms. It doesn't have a specific uh, Thai scientific name, but yeah, by the look of it, it's uh, very sacred. And most locals here, they usually come here and pray and make good merits for themselves and their families. This is uh, the monkey feeding area. Look at that. Look. look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is the reason why I'm here. Wait. No, don't. Jesus. No, 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 don't, don't, don't come close to me. Don't come close to me, you know, you gotta stay down. No, don't, don't do that, don't touch me, mate. Man, they are so quick and elusive. I was gonna like sit down and like give them like one piece to each one of them, but no, man. I'm here inside the monkey feeding area and don't, I, I, I can't stand still because if I stand still, they're gonna climb on me. You see? And I'm holding like, oh shit! 
Get off me! Get off me! Come on! Don't! You get the eight, don't worry! How are you guys doing? Don't do that! Oh my god! Did you see that? That's like not even 10 seconds! Not even 10 seconds, like, it took all the food! Oh, I'm gonna sit right here and enjoy my view with these uh, wild cake monkeys. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you It's almost noon at the moment and uh, Maybe it's time to go get some lunch, huh? What do you think? Let's see where I'm heading off next, huh? So instead of uh, taking a minibus, I decide to uh, just take a motorcycle taxi. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my third destination of the day. I'm just here to drop by to have some lunch because I'm hungry right now. And behind me here is called the Luan noodle shop or in Thai is called Kut uh, Tiao Luan It's uh, probably by far the one of the most popular meat noodle shop in Lopburi And uh, some word of advice, it's uh, open every day starting from 8.30 a.m. until 9.00 p.m. Before this at Kapang Sam Yon and San Thakan Shrine There were like numerous amount of wild monkeys, right? But over here there's absolutely no monkeys, not even one single monkey roaming around. You see, it's in the street, the road. I don't know why. I have to ask one of this uh, shop vendor and uh, see the reason why there's no monkey around uh, this area. Very weird, isn't it? All right, so I'm not gonna ask the shop owner here. Yeah, so just now I asked the shop owner uh, why there aren't any single wild monkeys because uh, it's part of the sacred monument when uh, they started to uh, roam around Hapang Sam Yon and San Pakan Shrine that's like part of their lifestyle they live and breed in that place that's why they don't come around here maybe only a few will make it here but not at this time maybe in the evening or at night you see it's so quiet not even one single Monkey. And here it is, Kutil Luan or Luan noodle. You can uh, either choose between meat or pork. They have the pork sausages here. Yeah, and it costs like 50 to 60 baht per dish. This is the meat. Look at those soup. Oh man, it's gonna crave inside my mouth soon. And right here is the white noodle meat with some tasty soup, but I choose to eat it dry. You can uh, choose whether to have it like uh, with some uh, soup inside, or you can also choose to eat it dry like this. Definitely hungry now. This is a must. Just to uh, taste the spiciness of the noodle and compare it to uh, all the noodle I've been eating in Bangkok and see what's it like? We'll know soon. Nobody told me to the reason why I walk towards this uh, good looking monument must be pretty uh, decent area to uh, check out at night because this is like during the daytime it's pretty hot so no one's going to be walking around but i think this might be probably uh, a good view of the city of lobbery you can tell that uh th there's like a roundabout here similar to uh the road in victory monument in bangkok it's like a big circle roundabout 
Yeah, you see uh, the monument up ahead there that I was uh, chatting with you guys earlier before this. You turn around and then it's just a short, very short walking distance. You walk up ahead here and then follow me here. My destination. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lobbury Zoo. So before this, uh, you probably uh, all witnessed the wild macaque monkeys. Now we're gonna go inside and check out a bunch of wild animal species. And I'm pretty sure they have like many different types of animals in this zoo. 30 baht entrance fee to the Lobbury Zoo. What's this? Ah, oh, some deers. What kind of deers is it? Javan Rusa. Hmm, pretty weird name, huh? You're not gonna grab my arm, right? Hey, it's pretty tame, man. Look at that, I'm touching its hands. My name's Tom, and you're watching Fans from Thailand. I still have uh, some more budget left. I've used up uh, a few hundred baht, but uh, I'm gonna spend 50 baht more ah. to feed these uh, animals inside the zoo. Since we're already here, the zoo doesn't have much to offer, you know, apart from the animals. Animals uh, and the commerce customers can only uh, watch them, stare at them. So I gotta make the most of it, man. <laughs> This looks like a, a very cute pig. All right, you want more? All right. Let's go back to that orangutan and see what its reaction will be when I uh, feed them some food. I'm back here again to offer you some carrots. How about some carrots? You want some carrots? There you go. Will it? Of course it's gonna eat it. I have a piece of corn. Well, it doesn't seem to entirely eat the whole corn. Yes, so normally during the weekends on Saturday and Sunday, in front of me is the big monkey show. This is where they uh, hold the monkey banquet festival where a bunch of uh, different monkey species roam around. They play a show, but today is a weekday, so I came on the wrong day. It's okay. I'm just informing all you locals and foreign tourists out there, if you ever visit the Lopery Zoo, the monkey show happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, that sums up pretty much my entire journey to Lopuri and the Lopuri Zoo was my final destination of the day. It didn't offer much because uh, it's a weekday and the monkey show and the snake show is held on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but it doesn't matter. And I'm ready to head back to the train station Take a short rest, get ready to travel back to Bangkok. There we go. 50 baht return trip back to Bangkok. I'll just hang out here for um, about an hour before I hop on the train. Okay, finally, I've been waiting for almost an hour. My train has arrived and I'm ready to head back to Bangkok. So I hope you enjoyed my video on this episode of Friends from Thailand. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel, sorry, and press like, put in the comments feedback, that'd be really appreciated. Oh, and by the way, my budget of 700 baht, I used up and spent only 620 baht with 80 baht left. Not too bad, huh? See you next time. Bye for now.